Welcome back, everyone, to Piney Place Wild Mage, where I am back here at the outskirts of Mithdranor, where I need to speak with Isanit here about a key. You found the three icons? The Kelga dream can still be fulfilled then. We can still find the key of the Mythal. What a strange path led us here. First, Kelgoth found the Chronicle, then he led us here to the ruins, and then you found the icons after Kelgoth fell. Now, we stand poised to retrieve the key of the Mythal from inside of Ithanol's Tower. Was all this destiny or mere chance? Who could say? Well, I'm looking for the key to the Mythal, not a metaphysical discussion, so where is this tower? Oh, Irrathil's tower is north of Terrasters Hall and a little bit to the east. Uh, Ilthraneth was a famed hero of the city, a mercenary captain with a band of warrior maidens under his command. He disappeared from the historical record. No one knows what happened to him, so I really have no idea what you'll find there. All I can do is to wish you good luck. Good luck. Yeah, I'm going to need it, I suspect. Let's get that key. And hope that I have a bit of luck. This appears to be the tower. Not a particularly high tower, if you ask me, but... I think it's almost more like a keep or something like that, but maybe it's a wizard's tower. That could explain it. Well, let's go inside and find out. Here we are at the base of the tower. You enter a dark chamber, the only wisps of light trailing in from a few flanking windows. You have come here looking for the entrance to Ildranath's tomb, where the key to the mythal is said to be hidden. Guess we'll find out if that's the truth, and whether they say correctly. Ooh, something hidden. But I'm not seeing it. Now, does that mean it's... It's also a trap in the air? How about I... All right. Let's try that. Well, maybe it's on another floor or something like that. Upon first inspection, you find no sign of a stairwell or door into the tomb. Perhaps the entrance is hidden away somewhere. Well, that could explain why I'm getting all these hidden messages. And true seeing isn't helping or anything like that? Hmm, that sounds tricksy. Now down here is where you were getting the message, right? All right, how about just looking? Really? Well, you find a small lever in the corner of the room. Pulling it reveals a stairwell hidden beneath the floor. A stairwell? Into the tomb. Oh joy. And what? I get the treasure if I survive? That's the usual rule, isn't it? Now starting to look more you like emerge a emerge from the stairwell into a massive chamber, somehow left undisturbed as the city crumbled around it. Yeah, how interesting. One, two, three, four signal crystals. All right. If those will start on the right side, I'll assume that the straight path is inaccessible until I find all four signal crystals. The tiles creak beneath your feet. Your breath plumes around you in the cold, musty air. Further down the hall, you spot a group of armors. They slowly awaken at your presence. 
There you go. Boom. Well, they're not around any longer. You see a configuration of glowing orbs against the wall in this room. Oh my. Well, if it's a game assignment, it's going to be the toughest one ever in the game. And to contrast the rather easy ones that we had in the last adventure. Well, I wonder what it really is. Well, let's pull the lever and find out how I die, right? Input skull. Input skull? Do I have to find the right configuration? One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, what happens if I click on this? I think I better... Okay, now if I pull this, does it reset it? Nope, not at all. See you? We'll get back to that later, I'm sure. Eventually. Assuming I... Hold on. Mm, well, maybe it's on the lower floor. Shining, pearlescent orbs cast dangerous spells in the room before you. What else is new? All right, do I have anything here? I have... Crucing, Detect Secret Doors. All right, I will try some... Fire Energy Resistance. And I'll even wear a pumpkin for good measure, apparently. Uh, maybe that was just a deterrent. Locked door. Hmm. How about... Let's see, do I... Ah! Knock spell actually works. The chest stands prominently in the center of this room. I mean, it can't possibly be trapped, could it? I mean, who in the world will... Put a chest into the, a middle of a room and trap it. I mean, no one will be undermined, underhanded, or anything like that in any way. Well, you want to see what type of trap it is? Uh... You're going to do that to me three times before having the one that's trapped, right? I mean... <laughs> well... What could this possibly be? Oh. Oh! That's the room that I thought was going to be there, but wasn't. All right. Well, now. Oops. Well, is there a safer way through here? Actually, or did I explore the whole thing? Ah, this way I haven't gone yet. Oops, a daisy. Well. Ouch. Oh, sorry about that. Open up! Oops. Uh, 
Oh. Spectral Guardian. So, a construct and a specter. Which one are you prepared for? We'll give you both. Just in case you haven't prepared for both. There we go. Now. I guess it's time to turn this away. Oh. Some free beer, it looks like. Here we go. Sections of the floor in this chamber have crumbled, leaving only thin walkways for you to step across. Oops. All right, we're done with that bit. Let's see. Rude! Ah. Come on, come on. Get me get up! Allow me to get up! Ah. This thing is not going to help me, right? All right, okay. So, nothing... I can't do anything with electricity. Fine, I, I'll just mack it. Ah. All right, so fireballs then are what I have to do. Actually, this is a chaos sphere, not a lightning sphere. So, throw the chaos sphere instead of the lightning sphere, and I should be fine, right? Money. Right, nothing here. Well, I guess we can go here. Locked. Oh, signal crystal. Uh, does not look like a healthy place to jump, especially considering that I do not see. I don't see a ladder out of there. Of course, there could always be a. Mm. I will check that afterwards. Oops. Well, let's do that and that. This is. Oh, greater vigor. That's nice. Ooh. Gem? Emerald. Sapphire. You name it. Ah! Signal crystal. But this is to... Well, I heard a door open. That's probably the door downstairs. So what's... This was also locked. Alright, we'll see about that one later. Alright, so let's head on downstairs. Oopsie daisy. Ah, now. You all here? Good. Ah, oh, I was expecting those. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit earlier when they came up. I was saying, what? Did I misjudge? No. Uh-oh. Oh. Ah. <sighs> this place is going to be hectic. No, I don't know why I used the future tense there. And we'll grab that, we'll grab that. Hmm. And we're eventually gonna hit the send the crystals to the main of water life when you enter the room. On the back wall you see a large purple crystal that matches the one on the door at the front of the tomb. Well, that's that question. You sense a chill in the air despite the warmth from the flames. Undead enemies rise from their posts and attack. 
The mummy moans mournfully as it dissolves into dust. <sighs> well, that's a signal crystal you're not going to miss. You pull the lever. The purple crystal lights up, emitting a soft glow in the darkness. All right, so that is one of four. A ladder. And where does this go? A mass of tile sprawls out over the floor. Oh, one of these. All right, so now I will guess for now that Oh, Twixie. Twixie. Very Twixie. Ultra Twixie. All right, so this is just where we need to go eventually. I will assume. All right. I am assuming for the moment that these blue things are supposed to light up these green things and that we're supposed to avoid uh, lighting the red things. And if I'm wrong, well, uh, we'll have to figure that out when it happens. Okay, so we got all of those down there. Good. Not that there's real. That one seems to be a little bit on the useless side. So now, this probably activates this. And uh, this is going to send out the light all throughout the area so into here so there is number one all the way to there good so we go here 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 okay and yeah Okay, that's number two, I think. Number three. Up to here, here, up there. All right, that is, oops, not quite. All right, there you go, number three. And, oh, yeah, that's right, here's number four. Finally, number four, and we want to go. The question is, is which of the two directions is this to go? Hmm. All right, up to here. Up to there. And how about... All right, let's see how close I am to the solution and if I blew everything up. Ready, let her rip. With all the rooms lit, a passage opens in the side of the room. You hear the click of the door ahead unlocking. Alright, there you go. I need to double check my weapons. Do I have something for this scenario? I mean, things like specters coming up all over the place. I guess I don't... Oh, oh here, here are my weapons. We've got the Glacier Deceptor of Iserlur, the Domiturgic Quarterstaff, Apparently not.
next. You open the door into a chamber with two shrines. Well. I am needing a little bit of rest. Oh, but what's this? And that's just regular agent's cabinet. Ah! We have two other doors in this room. Really? Oh. It, it got hit anyway. Alright. Good. Oh, wait a minute. I've been here before. So this needs to be the return trip. Okay. And over here. Is this another return trip or is this something completely different? A spectre guards this room, defending the lever on the back wall. vanishes in a sputtering of flames. Good. Sputter all you want. There you go. Ah! Alright. The crystal lever. Now, is that for the main tomb or is that for something that leads me to the main tomb I mean I suspect the latter considering the previous history in this dungeon but I really can't be sure because what's left ah there's another door here that I completely forgot about with all that stuff in that wisp room and whatever was beyond so maybe this leads to the next big giant signal crystal. There you go. A signal crystal is embedded in the wall above this door. Ah, but that's the, uh, okay, so that's the yellow signal crystal. That's why that opens up. I suppose that makes sense. In this room, you find a dimension door. It should return you to the entrance when you are ready to leave this area. Oh, how convenient. Oh. That yellow signal crystal was one of the real crystals. All right. I came back to what I thought might have been a spot that I missed, but instead it wound up being back to the entrance without using the dimension door. So, I guess it's time to go this way, and I'll presume that I'll find two more signal crystals. At least. Hello, are you up? There you go. Yeah, somebody offered me some beer. I think I thought I heard some beer dropping. Yep, there it is. Now? Okay. Whoops, a daisy. Yikes. Let's stop it. Stop going the wrong way. There we go. Ooh, just in case I need to jump some. Uh, hmm, electricity. Well then, I suppose we'll keep... Oops, no. We'll keep you two over here for a moment. And let's see, how about... Really? 
now. Do I just go through here? All right, okay, I think that was good enough. Who's home? Been here enough, I guess, to know when to expect company. All right, you got you. You've got you. And you. Money. Oh, I suppose I need to go this way. This one seems to be all about these constructs, isn't it? All right. Hey. How about... Yeah, that. Everything's fine here? Everything's fine here? Hey, how about... I bring, see, a gin and a freight or a huge earth elemental. How about and a freight? Alright. I suppose we'll try that. Now we can continue. Elegant elven figures dance atop pedestals in this dim hallway. Oh. I guess that is just flavor. Of course, usually when you say it's just fa flavor, something pops up. You open the door into a room where more orbs float above pedestals, emitting beams of electricity that shoot up towards the ceiling. Why are they going up towards the ceiling? Oof. And is there something I need to do? Because I do notice that we've got that. It's implying that there's some sort of exit there. So what happens if I pull... Actually, you guys a better idea. How about if I bring you two out here? And I will pull the lever? I heard something. Sounds like I... Open something up upstairs. Huh. Oh, one of those puzzles? So if I pull this... All right, that causes that one to go off. Now, these causes reversal, or do these cause? Now, they're all on. Well, that wasn't what I intended. <sighs> this is going to take a while. No, for the life of me, I can't remember exactly what I did there. Just pulled the things randomly and eventually got it right. Oh, well. That's the way it usually happens. 
All right, so, oh, another one of these things. Okay, I am going to assume that the real crystal. A signal crystal is embedded in the wall above this ah. door. All right, that's the dimension door in order to get out after I'm finished. A specter paces back and forth, defending the lever on the back wall. When it sees you, it attacks. What else is new? I mean, that's the story of this dungeon, isn't it? Hey, help me! Help me, help me! Oopsie daisy. The specter disappears in a shivering mist. By a door on the side of this chamber. Oh. All right. Oh, a door on the side of the chamber. That, yes, that is a door on the side of the chamber. Really? That's all you can do? All right, how about that? Thank you. Go. Now, let's open that up. Oops. Okay, well, I'll take care of you first. Oh. Ah. All right. This is You find a hidden lever alongside these shrines, unlocking a passage filled with murky water. Uh-huh. Oh, there is a ladder out of it afterwards. Okay. Water breathing. Uh, let's see what we got here. A group of gargoyles perches on a ledge in this wide room. You spy a large green crystal on the wall. Oh, what a There's shock. The one on the gigantic door at the tomb's entrance. The gargoyles rouse from their slumber and lunge towards you. Oh, and that's a big gargoyle. Well, I was expecting some sort of undead, but the I guess... The gargoyle screeches in pain as it crumbles at your feet. But I suppose that gargoyles the lever, just setting the green crystal alight. All right, so now we have finished this area. Oh. Uh, oh, an adventurer's pack. An adventure that didn't quite make it, apparently. There we go. All right. Well, that's done. So now let's try this door. So this looks like it returns us to some place. Yikes! Yikes! All right. All right. Let's see if I can figure this out. Ah, oh. now. Well, that was 
that was uncomforting. I was coming back through it, retracing my steps, wondering what did I miss? Because I only remembered three signal crystals that might have been at the front entrance. And I saw this little thing. Now that you've lit both crystals, the large door at the entrance to the tomb should be unlocked. Uh, so pull this lever, the red crystal above it starts to glow. Okay. You found a dimension door. It will return you to the entrance of the tomb once you have finished exploring this wing. I think I'm done with this wing. So I'll just take a little bit of a rest, go to the door, and meet you at the entrance. There you go. All nice and lit up. You return to the front hall. The giant door has been opened. Revealing a stairwell leading deeper into the tomb. Oh, fun. It's only just beginning. Uh, that's big. And that's big. And am I going to be fighting that thing? I am probably going to be finding out to my dismay very quickly. You emerge into a dark hallway. Shield guardians stand at attention. Yeah, I've noticed. Well, they let me through. Maybe they're only an honor guard. Alright. Let's head on through. The decrepit walls in this chamber blend into the rough cave stone. A large plaque leans against the back wall. A large plaque. Now uh, let's... See what it says. Thrice the icons ha take their seats. For when they come to rest, the path to the key yawns open. There are three locations in the tomb where you can place the icon of the elves, the icon of the humans, and the icon of the dwarves. Two passages to the left and right rumble open. All right. I don't know. Are you saying that or can't? No. Huskor. Well, not much better. I'm just hoping this isn't going to be signs of Zugget Moy or anything like that. One of my least favorite boss fights ever. <laughs> There you go. Oh, th these horror busts are horrific. There you go. Yoo-hoo! And uh, I'm still getting br- Ah! Okay. A pedestal stands on a platform here. You spy a locked door in the back of the room. I assume the door opens as soon as I put one of the icons into the pedestal. Now, what those two guardians do, I have no idea. This is the C of the icon. You set the icon of the elves atop the pedestal. Its eyes flash white for a moment before dimming. All right. Oh, locked. Is there something else I need to do before I unlock it? Oh, 
Well, it doesn't have the lock symbol above, so I think that means I cannot just try to unlock it. Maybe that's the one that opens up when all three are open. Alright, can you direct me to the other two locations? Uh, nope. Uh, uh, thank you. Ow. Whoops. Well, I don't know why I'm surprised with that. I mean, considering what I've been through already, it's very consistent in this section of the dungeon. You know those things really look bad? Now... Oh. All right. Whoopsie Daisy. Huh. Good thing there's no friendly fire in this game. Ah! Unfortunately, I should be careful of arcing fire. See, hook horrid creature. Well, I really can't disagree with the name. I mean, it looks horrid. It does look a bit hooked. And it did screech. I mean, it. That, that, that's what it says in the tin. Alright. So, nothing there. Nothing there. What's here? You walk into an ambush of angry monsters. Why can't I ever run to an ambush of friendly monsters? Give me a surprise birthday party or something like that. Demon and its fellow intruders fall to the ground. The key to the objective completed. 1500, whatever objective I just completed. Alright, so. Oh, 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 hold on. And before I do that, let's see if we can get some better loot, please. Alright. Star Wars Cloak of Diplomacy. Well, not what I would call better loot. Okay, then this way. Ah. Back to here. Now, is there anything this way? Actually, I guess. No. I thought that there would be another door there because that's only the icon of the elves that I've been able to place. What about the other icons? Hmm. Ah, I missed a secret door in uh, this room. Uh, what have we got here? You open the door, revealing a room full of dirt and cobwebs. A pedestal stands before the entrance to a cave. A group of Ettercaps lunges at you. Oh, I guess I was expecting Ettercaps eventually. I don't seriously expect any better results than what happened. 
in that T-Rex dungeon. Yes, but that was just the first editor cap. <sighs> All right, I came from this way. So now, this way. Is it still blocked? Hmm. Ah. All right. All right. That's the room where I couldn't find the secret door earlier. All right. So it's a one-way secret door. Gotcha. I, I thought there was going to be a... You done? You place the icon of the humans on the pedestal. You notice its eyes flash briefly before returning to normal stir. Okay, that's two of the icons. Now, I think I saw one more potential corridor where I couldn't go down. So I presume that will have the third icon's location. Ah, here we are. All right. Here we go. Crystal stands against the back wall. A large creature snores peacefully in the center of the room. How much do you want to bet they'll st Is that an owl bear? Yeah. How am I doing on true seeing this is I think Time for that. Time for that. So he tells me that whatever I do is going to wake that owl bear. Your creaking footsteps have awakened the creature. It attacks. You place the icon of the dwarves on the pedestal. You notice a subtle light emanating from the stone. Now that you have placed all the icons, you must find your path forward, deeper into the tomb. Right. Well, I presume that will be at the central room that gives all the clues. Nope. So how about going to the place where we had the icon of the elves yeah, that's one that looked like it most likely had another way forward that's assuming that I'm going in the right direction ah yeah a stairway up now that I was not expecting Really? Ah, oh, there we go. Huh. To ascend. All right, let's ascend. All right. I wasn't expecting that to be. You emerge into a calm clearing. Forest animals have taken up residence here. They graze and doze in its lush corners. You see two passages, one to your left, the other straight ahead. Yeah. Nothing horrific is going to be happening here, right? How about just in case? Let's start by going straight ahead. Then we can worry about the other direction afterwards. So 
What have we got? This room is the heart of the tomb, where the key to the mythal oh. is rumored to be hidden. Before you is a strange magic device. It must have been waiting here, undiscovered for centuries. A wild bear runs out of the room, startled by your intrusion. How strange. You sense a faint drift of power ebbing from the artifact. Could this be the key to the mythal? Well... What happens if I touch it? You peer closely at the strange device. The large gem emits a s soft humming sound. Is this the key? Well, what happens when I touch it? The object rumbles beneath your fingers. You feel prick pricks set to my skin. The image flashes before your eyes and a group of figures chanting. They touch hands and the key to the mythal lights up like the sun. Okay, did this create? Something happens when you touch the artifact. The room shakes. The statues against the walls rumble. And move. Stone scrapes against stone as the statues take their first steps. Their unseeing faces turn toward you, ready to strike. All right. Oh, the statues can... break apart. Once again, just mounds of stone. Suddenly, a group of uniformed strangers appears before you. The one in the middle of the formation steps forward. Just as I anticipated. I knew that following you into this tomb would lead us straight to the key to the Mithil. The figure smiles widely. Rotting teeth protruding from his desiccated mouth. You reckless mortals fell straight into their trap. It is fortunate that you were able to overcome the statue's power. You saved us the trouble of defeating them ourselves. The stranger laughs. It is a strangled, dusty sound, as if his voice has been worn down over centuries of use. I am Druic Orgul. Zulkir of Fey. He bends in a short bow. Soon our forces will completely occupy this city. Once I harness the Mithil's power, I will be unstoppable. <laughs> he chokes on his own laugh. I have no use for dolts such as yourselves, so be gone from here. Expect your demise should we meet again. You are suddenly transported away from the chamber. You find yourself back at the entrance to Ildranath's tomb, on the surface. You think about what the Zulkir said. It is only a matter of time before the Red Wizard's forces overtake Mithdrana, bringing even more chaos and destruction to this land. For now, you must return to the Elves' camp. You must find a way to thwart Fey's assault. This city will not fall yet again. You will make sure of that. Well. That's a twist. Bad news. They are here. Meaning the red wizards of they. Living statues. Hidden rooms. An odd bear. It's quite a tale. That strange device that you saw must have been the key to the mythal. Would you say that the Red Wizards of Thay are have it now? Grim news indeed. I hate to imagine that Zastam might do with the mythal under his command. Please, speak with the Commodore Elves. Convince them to deal with this immediately. We must stop the Red Wizards. Well, this isn't the end of the story. We'll stop the Red Wizards from controlling mythal. It looks like it's... Into this part of the story. Hmm, let's see. We've got. Ooh, Wizards of Repair, Wizards of Repair. Wiz can, can you find a robe that's not for repair? <sighs> oh, well. How about bracers? How about the bracers? Are any of the bracers any good? Death Block and Constitution plus seven. Well, that's at least a. 
an upgrade to my death block and constitution plus six <laughs> it's one better right well where where is it there we go at least we upgraded something now what is this person have to say the red wizards of fey and you say that they might have the key to the mythal Thank you for bringing me this information, Pine Gear. If the Red Wizards gain control of the Mythal, none of us in this camp are safe. Those vile necromancers are surely planning to use the Mythal to further one of the Sith Tam's dark schemes. His ambitions for is limitless, as is his hatred for the rest of the world. We are all of Ferrum to stop them if we can. All right, so what am I going to do next? The Cormothor Elves must respond to this right away. We need to somehow find a way to stop the Red Wizard's plans before it can go any further. If only we weren't spread so thin already. Where can we find enough trained forces? <coughs> of course, the solution is right in front of me. I mean, guess you mean that literally, right? Yes, and that, of course, is you. Yeah, he meant that literally. Here, take this as a reward for what you've done so far, but if you wish to help us any further, speak to Tarathiel Miasthema. She'll be coordinating our campaign to deal with the Red Wizard's threat. I'm sure she'll be grateful for any help that you can offer. Right, it's sort of my... I got us into this, then I have to get you out of it. All right. What else is new? And what do I get for the... First half of the arc. Or, oh, an orb! Who cares what it does? I finally have an orb. Huh. I've been waiting for one of these for a long time. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let, here's my... Okay. Let's, let's get my scepter. Let's get... Oh, let's get my orb. Right. And right. Okay, good. Now, whether I use this or my quarter staff, I'll have to think about that later. Actually, can I use an orb with. Yeah, I can also have it with the wand. Good. Just in case I ever actually remember to use it. Someday, maybe I will. But if I do remember, it'll be at least another episode of Piney Plays the Wild Mage. <laughs>